Heartbreaking school day for students of One Cup County Elementary School. Deputies say 37-year-old Jasmine Lambert's estranged husband shot and killed her over the weekend at her Paulding County home. Tonight, as word spreads about this teacher's murder, Fox 5's Rob Dirienzo is live at the elementary school. Still elementary school to be exact. Rob, a devastating day for students and staff. Yeah, that's right. Good afternoon to you, Christine. Well, people who say they knew the teacher, Jasmine Lambert, says that she had a smile that could light up the entire room. We're keeping our distance across the street to give them some privacy as they mourn. Meanwhile, grief counselors will be here all week to help students and staff through this unimaginable tragedy. Heart goes out to them you know that's really sad those kids an incredibly tough school day in the halls of still elementary as word spread that third grade teacher jasmine landberg was shot and killed at her home in paulding county over the weekend knowing that she is a, an elementary age uh, teacher uh, that's just that's just horrific Deputies say her estranged husband, 42-year-old Tyrone Lambert, showed up at her house twice on Saturday morning with a gun. The first, just after midnight. When he got inside the home, he was waving a gun around, uh, threatening all the individuals in there uh, inside the home. Um, and when they alerted him that law enforcement had been contacted, he took off and got out of there prior to our deputies' arrival. Investigators say Tyrone Lambert left, then showed back up to the house on Topaz Drive at 7 a.m. Again, people inside with Jasmine called 911. Deputies raced back there, but when they got out of their cruisers, they heard the gunshot and uh, were able to determine that he was trying to flee out the back of the residence. Paulding deputies caught up with Tyrone Lambert on the side of the house. They say after a brief struggle, they tased him and took him to the ground. Inside, they found the 37 year old teacher shot in the head. Medics rushed her to Wellstar Paulding Hospital, where she didn't survive. Well, Neighbors in the quiet subdivision awoke that. to all the Somebody commotion Saturday morning. They have the crime scene tape up and stuff like that, so, you know, I knew it was something serious. Investigators say not only does Lambert leave behind a classroom full of students, but also two kids of her own who were home the entire time. For those children to know that their teacher's never going to show back up and there's children. Uh, she has her own children uh, who will never have their mother again. And tonight, as you can imagine, Tyrone Lambert faces a whole list of charges. They include murder, home invasion, and two counts of cruelty to children. Deputies say he will remain behind bars without bond until his next hearing. That's the latest from here, live in Cobb County. Rob Urienzo, Fox 5 News. Our heart certainly goes out to that teacher's family. All right, Rob, thanks so much.